here in the catacombs of Paris are the remains of over six million people. A million. Romantic Paris lies a labyrinth of ancient tunnels and mass graves known as the Paris Catacombs. Yeah, it is the world's largest necropolis with over six million skeletons. There are videos on YouTube of people who have snuck into the catacombs and illegally filmed, but their videos show nothing. No, they just show a bunch of empty caves. Yeah, but we're going to take you inside the catacombs to see millions of human bones. Sometimes it's easy to forget that places like this exist. Places you can only imagine in your nightmares. The descent into the catacombs was a heavy. On our descent down 130 stairs. Which is roughly eight stories. We were very jovial and expecting that at the bottom we would be engulfed in a sarcophagus of bones. But when we finally got to the bottom, we were basically in a geological mining museum. We were super confused and didn't understand what mining had to do with dead bodies. We were almost wondering if we had been duped and that it, there was no bodies and it was just a museum with pictures of bodies. It wasn't. But we didn't know that at the time. We were just like, where are all the dead bodies? When are we gonna find the dead bodies? I bet we won't see any dead bodies. <laughs> so we continued our journey deeper into the catacombs. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we're gonna see dead people. The dead, the quick, and the dead. I don't know why I said that. It's nice that they had lighting down here. Modern electricity. Basically, Thanks to 45 million years of geology and water tables, limestone formed under Paris. The Romans quarried it to build stuff. The stone was used in the 12th and 13th centuries to build Notre Dame Cathedral, and all the Gothic monuments in Paris were built with stone quarried from the now catacombs. Let me out! Oh, is that a bone sticking out there? Or is that a pipe? We'll say it's a bone. Oh, well, there's an ancient train ticket. <laughs> Underground quarrying continued to spread under Paris from the 19th to the early 20th centuries. There's hundreds of miles of tunnels. These particular catacomb tunnels were probably quarried in the 15th century. In the mid-18th century, some of the tunnels collapsed, so in 1777, workers went underground to strengthen the tunnels. The workers carved dates into the bricks. This brick signifies that it was the fifth pillar built under Inspector Janser in 1847. The black mark on the ceiling might look ominous, but it was actually just there to help the workers get their remains on where they were. In the heart of Paris was a cemetery that housed the remains of people since the Middle Ages. It became overfilled and a health risk, so in 1785 it was closed down and millions of bodies were exhumed from Paris cemeteries and dumped into the empty and unused quarry. Which became the catacombs. <laughs> From 1777 to 1782, one of the quarry workers named De Cure made this sculpture of the Port Mahon Palace from Menorca in the Balearic Islands. We just kept walking, wondering, where's the dead people? You really start to get jaded.
And then we crossed this sign and things got super eerie. Catacombs of Paris are the remains of over six million people. Million. It's really interesting how some stacks are really artfully placed, very careful, and you know, looks very artistic, while other bones are just thrown in a pile. Yeah, it's as if like one worker really cared about his job and wanted to put together some art, where another worker was just like, what the hell, and was just chucking bones in a pile because he wanted to get home to a cold beer and a sport ball game. Yeah, but I can see where they'd become nonchalant about it. After a while of being around millions of bodies and dead bones, you start to become jaded and like immune to them. Yeah, so we started joking around again. Mm -hmm. How do you flush? These two must have been very important people to be at the top of the staff and facing outward, whereas all the women others are facing inside. Who knows? the lucky bones of a leprechaun. Actually, the dripping ceiling causes moss to form. Mm. It's weird. First you're like, why are the catacombs here? And then you're like, show me dead bodies. And then you're like, holy crap, those are dead bodies. And then after a while, you're just like, meh, there's another dead body. It's crowded in here. Look, even more bones, but they're skillfully placed. 
get some more. More, more dead people. More dead people. <laughs> More water falling from the ceiling. Look, you can see you can see what this person is thinking. It's quite hard to memorialize six million people at once. They did a pretty good job of stacking. Yeah, they did. Look, more steps. They need to go up. I'm just gonna wait here for the bus. Mm -hmm. Eighty-three steps. Yeah, be sure to subscribe to watch all of our videos. And like. And like. And please. And share. Right, and please share. And to see more videos, you can see Amsterdam over there. Over here. Maybe London up here. Over there. Amsterdam and London. Amsterdam, London. So oh, click and click the little bell so that you're notified when we put up a new video. Oh, yeah, the notifications bell. You have to click that now. Yeah. So like, share. Subscribe, notifications, those two videos. You got a lot of stuff yeah, to do. Yeah, there's a lot. We better let you go. Used to be easy on YouTube.